Welcome to Culinary Crates, episode one. This is the first course, and I'm Chef Dev. DJ Khan's in the house. And Conrad and I have a very special opportunity today where we get to mesh two of our favorite things in the world, two things that we're most passionate about, two things that brought us together immediately from the get-go when we first met, many lives ago. Oh, we're gonna be cooking food, and at the same time, we're gonna be blending music. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the music first. So today, Dev and I have specifically chosen these tracks, some classic tracks to go classic. along with some classic dishes. These tunes will not only bring memories back to both Dev and myself, but our entire music scene. These are our favorite producers. We've heard them at festivals, at after parties, endless. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the food, okay? So Conrad's talking about classic tracks. We're gonna do classic food. Shout out to Farm Share hooking us up with some Atlantic lobster. We're gonna take that, we're gonna make a lobster mac and cheese. So either Conrad or myself are gonna make a bechamel into a Mornay, so that's a mother sauce plus cheese. We're gonna make a cheese sauce, and so we're gonna poach the lobster in that. Lobster mac and cheese, steak and mushrooms. Farm Share, again, coming in the clutch. 20 ounce Wagyu strip, Fire. beautiful. Be beautiful chanterelles here. We're gonna do steak and mushrooms. Lastly, we're gonna do a Caesar. Vegan Caesar. For you, a vegan Caesar. Vegan Caesar. Conrad's been on a vegan tip for a minute now, so we're gonna, we're gonna entertain him a bit and do a vegan Caesar. So if you're thinking, how are we gonna do that? We're gonna use hummus as the base for that. Aquafaba is popular. For it is. Keep it simple today. We're gonna keep it simple, stupid, definitely. Uh, and with no further ado, Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to do something that we're so passionate about. And there's no turning back. Classic tune to start. So this is a track at every after party, bro. If you hear this play, one of us is there. For sure, for sure. Danny will drop this once in a while, but... Danny dropped... Never mind, I'm not gonna go. Remember when Danny dropped clarinetto? Wow. <laughs> What did you say? It was the best. Oh, like, man. The audacity. The audacity. Oh. Dev and I both love house music, so we'll be hearing a little mix of the both. You know, it's good to poach the lobster a bit, you know, Con, but to get it out of the shell. Before you do it. Yeah, just to release yeah. it, but otherwise, you know, you do it carefully, you'll be able to get it out clean, yeah. I mean, remember the back in the day? You coming to see me at Loblaws, you of know Of course, I mean? man, yeah. All my U10 scallops I got from Everything, you. Everything, anyway. Lucky Limes. <laughs> oh, I miss those days. Again, we really break this aggressively. Another beautiful lobster tail, okay? So two beautiful lobsters. Those are five to six ounce? These are looking like maybe like five? Not, not, no, shell on, five to six, because two to threes are puny. These are third pound, probably, yeah, five, six. Nice, cool. So let's break these guys down. I almost want to do ceviche or sashimi with this though, right? Imagine, the tigre de liche. Remember when you made that at my house? I still dream of that. I still dream of that. And who put smoked bacon on top of a ceviche? This guy. <laughs> of course. And then what do you do? You go and move to Halifax. What can I say? The best seafood in the world. Yeah, it's true. That's actually a great point. Cool. Beautiful. Just in case some of that ugliness. Gotta make it sexy, bro. Always. That bass line, I'll never get over it. Cool. One thing done. We already salted the water, but we're gonna do a little bit more. Always taste like the ocean. 
Here's a classic one coming right now. To all my hip, head, hip hop heads out there, classic vocal coming through. <laughs> Score. The score is top 10 albums. Midnight Marauders score 36. Still, still, I'll drive up north, throw on that album, it'll get me all the way up there. Right, man. Illmatic, Moment of Truth, super timeless. How many yeah. times have we gone hours just rhyming through old hip hop? And we're doing it again right now. Cool. It's the remix. Stakes here, you're gonna jump on that. Remix. Can I feel the vibe? Remix. Gonna do a little bit of prep for you, bud. Ooh, la, la, nice. la, la. Yeah. It's the way that we okay. rock when we do so we got pasta down. Pasta's down, down a few remix. minutes away, sir. Cool. Then we'll Tomatoes. bust out the roux. Sweet. Get into the bechamel. That's it. Man. Beautiful. La, la. Beautiful. Strain that off. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Side. And then we're throwing those chanterelles right in the same, right? These back yes, where I found them. Yes. Put those back where I found them. Clean you. Set you up for success, my friend. Good word. Clean station, always. Thousand. Something my man has always taught me. Thousand percent, man. Or you get hard chirped. <laughs> I will have this guy over for dinner to my house. I don't know if I remember how to do this, bro. One of us will cook, but clean stations, clean dishes all the time. Love it. It's the way that we this rock. is the most fun I've it's had since the last time. Hang. Sticking to the bottom. Can I feel the vibe? Try my best. Can you feel the vibe out there? I see you. I see you. I see you. Classic. Okay. Big shout out to the hip, or sorry, the, the, the house producers dropping hip hop vocals. Gotta love it. Okay, we're gonna try this pasta, see where we're at. We are a moment away. I'm gonna strain that bad boy. Yep. Gonna keep that there. Oh, boy, you on the Good. side of Babylon, find the front. Trying to front, trying to front like, front like it that with Mo Zion. Call Mr. Martin. Huge vocal. Yeah, I can't change it yet, bro. No, you crazy? Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. I would shoot you. Today is that season. A hundred them seas, I get my dummies. Seas, I get my dummies. Don't want any of that sticking to the bottom, because I'm going to use this pot right It's the way that we rock when we're doing our, doing our, doing our, doing our remix. Taste. Yeah, that is perfect. All right, and we're gonna bring this guy over. Strain this. Make sure I don't burn myself or drop the pot. It's gonna go straight into here. Oh yeah, yeah every last drop. Beauty. Let's turn this down. To the roux for the bechamel, we have our butter that will be going in. So, for those that don't know what a roux is, equal parts of flour and butter. Pretty simple. Okay, get that frying in there. Super low heat. There we go. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! That was close! Went over there, man. Oh, you're talking about I was just like full attention over here, man. 
<laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less, my friend. Yep, it's done. Equal flour, so the roux will be going. Okay, so this is gonna brown up it's real hot today, quick. bro. What? So that's just gonna go thick real quick. And then in goes our milk. I just want to crank this right now and like not listen to anything anymore. Totally doable. Go down here. Give us a good whisk. Without trying to make a mess on myself. Oh yeah. Away. Nice low heat. Bottom off here. Make sure I got all that flour, all that butter. Fire. Classics. I had to. I had to do that. A little drop, right? All gravy, baby. Look how beautiful these are. I need to shout out these beautiful mushrooms. I haven't seen chanterelles like this in a Chanterelles, you know I've- Chanterelles. Chanterelles. I picked those out in, uh, in Newfoundland. We were doing chef battles out there. It was like a forest of glowing orange. It was glowing orange and they were fat and they were moist and like you just pick what you want. I want to forage my own mushrooms. Exactly. Yeah, man. That's when you can forage them yourself. <laughs> when you can forage them yourself, yeah. Well, you were showing me uh, Phil heads in my backyard, weren't you? Yeah, but you didn't know you had for how many years? Hurting bad. My goodness. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> this guy. Okay, sh should I just leave this? Yeah, I'll leave this. Let that heat up a little bit more. Because he will take, you want me to add the cheese to this dev or no? Off the heat, my friend. What happens if we add the cheese when it's hot? It may, it may split, right? So once you get that bechamel, you can get this hot I, yeah, ripping. Yeah, when as soon as it comes thick off the heat, fold that cheese in. Bum, ba, da, da. Oh man, it's hot. Ripping hot, hot right now. Dude, it's so Love hot. This. You think we worked in kitchens? <laughs> Apparently not. I mean, we don't get this tan sitting inside of Man's gonna get hard trolled in the comments, bro. <laughs> All right, all right. This is coming along nicely. What else we got going on here? Let's give this a little wipe. Do you want your pasta sitting or do you want me to set it aside for you? No, we're gonna put it right in here because we're gonna mix. The cheese sauce is gonna go in there. Make sure none of the pasta is sticking and it's not because he would kill me. Goes into the dirty spoon. All right, this is thickening. Let's turn this down a little bit. There we go. Oh, oh, thickness. Oh, can't really see it, but it's thick, baby. You know what? I know. I'm gonna pull a chef dev right now. Look, thick, beautiful thickness. That's a chef dev move. I see him in his videos doing that all the time. Just another day. I'm turning this off because I don't want to ruin it. And it looks pretty thick to me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is better than the first one. Thousand percent. More comfortable. I am ripping, dripping right now. <laughs> These are inhumane working conditions, culinary crates. So I'm going to leave that there for him. Make sure. This is there. Just another day. All right, now we're ready to go. There you go, buddy. Good. Oh, AC. Do you feel it? Yeah, I want some AC. Yeah, I'm here just for a momento. All right. Okay, this is done. Heat is off. And it looks a great consistency. Back to my comfort zone. 
right? No, well, don't know. I feel more comfortable not messing things up, cooking next to my best friend. I mean, we do all the time, but in front of, you know, a crowd, these cameras, a little, little, little nerve wracking. Look at you making mother sauces, bro. This is a very exciting time, because again, like I mentioned in the beginning, Conrad and I, we really bonded over food and music. We would talk about the food that we love to eat around the world. Also, food and music are two universal things, where I've traveled the world cooking, he's traveled the world playing music, where we could be in Costa Rica, I've been in Nepal, you don't need to speak English or the same language. It's all about emotions and sign language and body language and the feeling and, and it's very like you know I was cooking in Scotland and like these I don't speak Punjabi but these guys like you eat something and like you smile like that's that activates everything same thing Conrad plays around the world people dance they get you know they get really excited they get really euphoric and happy how to get that off my chest it's great good bechamel we want to get a close-up here yeah nice thickness this is what I told you about nice thickness see Bechamel. Cool. Cheese sauce. This track, dude. I remember dude, this man. track. It was in Miami at a pool party for the first time. Teeny dropped this. I was like, what is going on right now? This track invented the word rinse. Because it gets <laughs> rinse. Did you season this, buddy? Uh, negative. Cool. So we're gonna do a little bit of salt. We're gonna go a little bit of onion powder. This is garlic. Onion powder. I think that, oh, let's do a little bit of ginger and garlic. Ginger and garlic. Garlic, oh, beautiful. Chili flake. Oh, this next one, dude. Chili flake into the oregano. Bro, bro, bro. No smoke and mirrors here, folks. This is cheese sauce in front of your eyes. Cheese sauce. Con, you know what we do now? Tell me. Lobster, going in. Gonna poach it in the sauce. I love it. Residual heat. Residual heat. Nice cheese sauce. <laughs> yeah. So garlic powder, onion powder, good amount of salt, white pepper, oregano chili flake, ginger garlic. You're right. Yeah, bro. Spice. Yeah, stupid man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, that's a good luck. Oh, it smells. Yeah, it's so, a nice one. so creamy. It's a nice one. Just another day. Just on a low heat to ensure that cooks through. Man, it's hot. Just another day. Cutting board spotless. I'm gonna put some green onion through this too, okay? This is a beastie one, bro. BPM days, BPM days, bro. Heavy hitting, bro. Vision Quest. Not the group name. Vision Quest. Vision right? Quest. Yeah, yeah. Vision Quest. Classic. Not even scripting, bro. Nice. Papaya Playa? Cannibal Royale? You know what the best is when Leo says, Di plus paro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So, on the fly, mac and cheese oh sauce. Look at the chunks God, of look lobster. Look at the color! Yeah, so really well, I choose, if this was too thick, what would we do? What, put more cream? A flash of water? Water? A flash of water. I'm talking a teaspoon at a time, right? But we don't really necessarily want to add too much more fat to this, right? But yeah. My goodness. Food porn. Cool, so that's done. 
I'm gonna fold in our pasta. This needs a bit of water. Classic tunes. Classic dishes is what we're doing right now. Classic tunes, classic dishes, no doubt. Oh, this next one you're gonna love. Huh. Let's get a plate. Reseason for the addition of pasta. Oh. oh my God, white pepper, where are you? My tripping con, you see white pepper? I guess I don't white pepper. There you go. Regular pepper. Not scripted, folks. Not scripted. Dude. When's the first time you heard this? Oh my god. This is dude. a really like, it's like, it's melodic, it's uplifting. This is it's so old. Cool. This is like when Lars gave me his music. When I Chris first, Lars. Shout out my homie. First That's a big gave plug. me his music. Literally <laughs> dug through over this. Cheap to camera. Cheap to camera on this one. That stringiness, good consistency, a lot of lobster, chunky lobster. Cheap to camera, beautiful. Crispy onion, Conrad? Always, bro. That's like, I put that on everything on my cereal, <laughs> everything. Peruvian sweetie drops. I'm used to the red ones. Like, where do you get those? ChefDev.ca. These are a cross between a grape tomato and a jalapeno. So, really nice, briny, really memorable wake your flavor up. Wake your flavor up. A little broccoli microgreen. All the way around, not in the middle. A little olive oil. Nice gloss, a little fresh cracked black pepper. Conrad, we're missing some red. Missing something on we're that We're missing dish? some red, yeah. Lobster mac and cheese, first dish up. Okay. Perfect. Get that cast iron boss. Oh man. Bro, Gucci, I saw that one video where his legs are like this back here. He's just spinning. <laughs> like what most of us, man. man. Yeah. Larson's like that. Dude, I do it all the time. Larson's I'm in my leg and like. I'm all hands. I got my hands rolling at all times. Again, this is Cobra days, bro. I remember before you went to culinary school, being at this gig where you asked me about when I went to culinary school. We have school. a photo, we're sitting together. It's 10 years ago, remember sitting? Yeah, yeah, With this, this one of our eyes open. open. <laughs> still have that same shirt. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so we are doing the mushrooms next. Okay. Lobster mac and cheese is up. We need to sear the steak. The dressing for the Caesar can be made. I remember making that, so I think you focus. Yeah, let's get the steak done so it rests. Sear it, and then mushrooms in. But well, we gotta let this roll. Oh, you're letting this roll, baby. You're letting this roll. I, I'm really enjoying this. So much fun. It's a lot of Should fun. To do this with you, we've cooked so many times together. Don't make me cry, we'll talk after. <laughs> social distance, social distance. <laughs> oh, man. This is, like, oh. this is like 10 years in the making right now. Ripping hot. You can see it smoking. That's the way I like my Do you think I can pick this up off and let it play? Do I think you can? Usually you shouldn't be able to. Should I try? <laughs> Spin 
in the back. That is insane. Um, real phase in the house. Big shout out to phase. Just Big shout out to phase. Like this is bananas right now. Ripping hot. Look at this. Okay. Season. For sure. Salt. Probably gonna yell at me for making a mess. I'll pepper you so you can keep yeah, your hand off the mill. So yeah, no worries. Nice height. We wiped the board down after. It's okay. Conrad's gonna get every real estate of that steak. And there's gonna roll it all around everywhere, get it everywhere. All on the fats, everywhere nicely. Oh man, straight into the pan. Right away from me. Don't get anything around. Ripping hot, you see that smoke? That's what you want to get a good sear. It's the only way. All right, let me move this. Give this a good wipe. I, I can smell immediately, I smell blue cheese. Immediately, I, I just like, I smell blue cheese. Like Pavlov. Blue right away. Cheese. Yeah, from the dry aging process, right? Really? Yeah, I smell, yeah. that's why I smell blue cheese. Blue cheese? Okay, make sure it's gonna burn my hands. All right, we don't have that, but we do have this. Good. All right, we're gonna freestyle it. Okay. Searing nice and hot, keep that going. I'll render off some of that fat after, that is ripping hot. Very good. Shout out to the steak, look how beautiful this looks. Good, good. I'm gonna chop up a little bit of these for later on. So traditionally, you'd use like, I don't know, some thyme or something. We're just gonna chop up a bunch of that. Some green onions we had lying around, that's just gonna go in with that steak later. Right there for now. Okay, so we don't have palms, so we're gonna use no pinchers. Fork, spoon. This is. I've never used these guys before. Oh, heavy baseline. Almost. Sit a little bit more. And what we want to see is some color in there. Oh, see that beautiful brown in color along the fat. Nice. What a beautiful cut. So nice. Rib steak? This is the end of a rib steak. It's gotta be. This is the end of a rib steak. The end of a rib. Yeah. Gotta be. Okay, that's sitting there. These are gonna go in after. I'm gonna baste it with some butter. Then the mushrooms are gonna go in. It's good. Ripping hot at the moment. It's good. Oh, what do we got going in here? Con? Crooks. Heavy duty, bro. Crooks. So, again, both of us have a hip hop background. Grew up on hip hop. We reminisce on hip hop all day long. Classic things coming right out. So I keep those away from my beautiful white shirt. Yep. Oh, yes. Living a life on There's numerous ways you could choose to earn funds. Cavalry Hot says straight up just one. King of the dot holla. KOTD. My good shots to make you love a tape. Check out you bare handing the meat, bro. Kind of render off some of that fat. What's your favorite thing about the steak? Oh my goodness. All right, that's it, we're out. I would have to say texture. Oh, oh, oh. Texture we're back. We're back. flavor. <laughs> we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, the breakdown. Rendering off, keeping it away. Yeah. Connor, we're gonna do hip hop into hip hop. So Mob, one of my favorites. You know, Prodigy, top five. I think he's top five that are alive. 
For sure, for sure. Yeah, they'll call that crud, throw TV at you crazy, all that shitty. Grade nine, grade 10, all I used to listen to. Well, Kawhi Storm's the first track I memorized. In terms of him. No way. That's the first track. Too early. Like, lifetime I don't believe you. Too early. There's something you memorized. No There's something you 100% memorized before. Even before? Even too late? Nah, back to front. Okay, so we're gonna put in a little bit of these green onions. Go around there. All of it. Because we're not eating it, it's just for flavor. Then I'm going to put in some of this butter. Base with butter. Always. Deb said put all of it. We'll see how this works. Get some nice flavor, some nice color. Let that melt down. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, look at that color right there. Man. Look at that. Cash, Cash rules. What? Taste it a little bit. Woohoo! Ha! Another heavy tune right now. Wu Tang Clan, like my all time favorite. All time 36, favorite. 36, yeah, yeah, man. Heavy, bro. Rest that on, Chef. Not that one. All right. Set that there while it rests. Over one more time. Yeah. Man, it's sounding, it's hotter this time around, bro. We're losing our energy. Hot. Yeah, yeah, hot. Right now. Cooking. That's what we're doing. Culinary crates in the house. Episode number one. Culinary crates has us working in inhumane in 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 condition. Can you poke it? I don't want to over chef. This needs to get out of that pan. Poke it. You've been cooking. Get it out. Get it out. Yeah, you've been cooking that for a while. Yeah. Cool, man. Good. Right? It's good. It's good. It's great. Another money shot for you. Back to my comfort zone. <laughs> Back to mine. I really hope I didn't overcook that steak. It's good, it's good, it's good. No, bro, come on, dude. That's good, that's good. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, let's do the mushrooms. I forgot that last time. So, for those people that don't know what I'm doing, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dad. Rare? I never go by that. But it's so I, a little, you wouldn't, but it gives yeah. people a little bit of an idea of what they're feeling for. I, my best advice I can give to someone is cook 100 steaks. <laughs> no, seriously, come on, man. Like, okay. like for somebody well, who, well gets, done, who eats Wagyu for breakfast? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, maybe somebody can say that. Ooh. We're gonna do that steak up nicely, get this pan smoking again. I am a sweating. Sweating, bro. Oh, yeah. Hey, Nate, it's a hot one, bro. <laughs> it's a hot one. Much more fun this time around. It's amazing. Much looser. We know what's hot, like how to react. I mean, it's much uh, less, less scripted almost, but more scripted, but less scripted. I'm just gonna shut up and cook. Chantrez. 40 bucks a kilo, beautiful mushroom. Obviously very woody and earthy, but beautiful to look at. Residual heat in the pan. Wu-Tang. Classic. Sometimes I wonder where these guys get these samples from. I mean, I know you can rip a lot of it and like pull it, but like... Clapton are beasting though, right? No, bro. 
Maybe they reach out. I would. All right, baby. It smells ridiculous in here. Stupid. It though. smells ridiculous in here. About to make a Caesar dressing, my friend. Conrad? Yes, sir. Nothing. I'm going to use this. We'll build a Caesar in the pasta. Cool. Cool. What am I using? Hummus. That's right. Butter spoon. Hummus going in. The base for our Caesar will be hummus. That'll give us the body, the voluptuousness, the thickness of that dressing that'll coat the... Oh man, that'll coat the romaine. <laughs> yeah. Malibu, here half coming in. Malibu. Papers, you can chop them up, you don't have to. Oh my god, this dressing? Yeah, it's pretty mental. The recipe is up on culinary crates first course. Okay? Ginger garlic paste, totally not traditional. I need to put this down because I need to watch it. Don't make a mess. It's not much hummus used in there, eh? I mean, like a tablespoon would be good, but we're going to add a lot of oil. Uh, your favorite. Nooch! I put this stuff on everything. This is great, super high in vitamin B12. It has like 500 to 1,000 times percent of your daily recommended value of so many nutrients. Absolutely, man. So good. It's real special. Whole grain Dijon, pepperoncino, good amount of heat. It's a freestyle Caesar, but we're having fun. Because I have it here, I'm gonna add onion powder and garlic powder, just a quarter teaspoon. It's gonna add a nice depth. That goes in. This is driving me a bit crazy. Let's give this a toss. Chantrelle. Clean your board. Oh man, Echo. A little oregano, bro, and then the rest is oil. Parmigiano would be good, but then it wouldn't be vegan. Yeah, but I guess the uh, mayo does the same thing as oil. Right. Because I would add so much more vegan mayo into mine. So good. Vegan Caesar. Another classic tune that I think I played the same night that Nate a Cobra, man. Right. Also many years ago. This is making me hungry. Like, oh, these mushrooms just look unbelievable. Yeah, buddy. Look at the color too. Like, I don't want to burn myself, but like, look at that color. Cast iron, the way to go. And not the ideal vessel, but we have a beautiful Caesar. Dressing capers and peperoncino and garlic and beautiful stuff going on. Okay, 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 okay. You'll plate the steak? Yes, sir. I'm gonna plate the romaine. powder, garlic powder, capers, ginger, garlic, nooch, one layer down, let's do another one. Small leaves reserved for on top, it looks prettier that way. These are the cutest ones, these are the ones that I want. These go on top. First layer just. What's up bro? I just, I'm a so good. Yeah, it's fun man, it's family style, it's home cooking. Thousand, yeah. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you finish this dress. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Caesar. We're gonna add some tomato. So fire right now. So fire. This is 
constant work. I love it. It's like so engaging. So, another one of my favorite, favorite, favorite producers, George. It's actually called the classic remix, too. Dude, one of our boys, Crimson, just won a remix contest with this guy. The track was so fire, bro. And for him to choose this, I'm actually like so jealous. Clean, lastly, hot sauce. Dearly devoted. George Classic Remix. Keep working, that's what I love. You gotta keep working. Whoa! Whoa! See? Phase, baby! <laughs> you can't script that. Yeah, no, you can't at all. We'll do it our time. I don't even know work. how to get this off right now. Let me just let it spin. This Caesar salad's gonna be the spiciest thing known to man. More fat, guys. Why? ChefDev.ca. I wonder if, like, you know, if, if we were to follow every recipe every day. That's pretty though. Oh, yeah. That you did. You know, it's like the McDonald's. Oh, you know what we need, bro? A little bit of dill. Oh, parsley. Okay, now I can take this little. Let's do a little parsley. A little pinch off. <laughs> all right. Oh, these mushrooms look amazing. Yeah, dude, you're all set up. Of course, man, you're all set up for steak. Just oh, salt and residual yeah. from what you slayed at the steaks. I hope you taste green onion, that'd be nice. Cool, man. This looks like a vegan Caesar now. I think that's important. Sharp, sharp, sharp. So good. And I should put that in there before somebody falls. Cool, man. All right. There's You're my all plate. set up here. Beauty. Look oh. how great this looks. So colorful. Look at this. You're colorful. I'm getting there. I was gonna say something else, but. We're gonna get annihilated by, commi <laughs> by committees. We get destroyed. Don't worry, Nate can cut that out. All right, so, beautiful plate. Beautiful plate. So we're gonna plate on this guy. I'm gonna set that there for a moment. So what we're gonna do, gonna take this bad boy. Calm down. Hold this guy. The BPM is going up. Can you no. tell? Make sure we get all that nice drippings off so it doesn't smother my plate. We've been all you. right. Beauty. One angle. Not just to hear the All right, you're not gonna kill me. Nice. Oh, it's perfect, man. Ah, it's success! Do you have any idea how much pressure it is to cook a steak next to this guy? So I'm trying to blend beside you. Get out of here. <laughs> On vinyl, too. <laughs> this is just beautiful right now. Oh, yes. Yeah, so fatty, so beautiful. So tender, so juicy. I'm cutting thicker chunks. All right, so we're gonna fan that out over the top. Let me just yeah, you remove remove the the two far pieces. That's for you and I, chefs. We want everything to look like it's beautiful cooked. Not bad at all. Okay, so we're gonna fan this out over the top of here. Look, I'm gonna take a little peek, peek in there. Beautiful color. Juicy, look at that, all over the place. Then we're gonna play it with our mushrooms. Wave this up. All right, so beautiful. Look at the color of these bad boys. Color? 
you know we I noticed we did this faster this time. That's okay. No, yeah. it looks it looks really good, man. I'm gonna ask that you uh because you cook green onion, let's use the green onion. You wanna put a little bit on there. Yeah, I figure I mean it's like it's got some good color on there. What I'll do is I'll actually choose some really nice colored pieces. I, yeah, that's beautiful and rustic and it's got all that butter and steak flavor. Did you season the meat with salt when you sliced it? Okay, so you can hit it now. That's okay, no problem. Can you hit it? Should I? Can look at my hands. Because this is our opportunity to season the inside of that dense piece of meat, right? Sure. So, Malden or kosher? Malden all day. Sure. <laughs> wow, someone has budget. Dude, Quali First Food, huge shout out. Changed my cooking game. That's nice. I'm not gonna put too much, because I like that just right in the middle like that. And I'm gonna remove this. And I'm gonna give this a little wipe. And because they look so good, and there's still a couple more in the pan, try some more mushrooms. Mm. Deja vu? Classic. Yo, bro, the amount of times I've been sitting on a couch, never mind. You already know, if you know, you know. Thoroughly impressed with everything that's gone today. I'm not saying. Look at the colors in the sky. Oh yeah. And for all my vegan peeps, you've got to get into this. This Caesar dressing is to die for. I'm probably going to use hummus from now on. Forget mayo. Forget mayo. This is good. Clean. Nice. Back to footwork. Hugo dropping this track. Yes. This has been the most fun I've had in my life. Did, we, did you put crispy shallots on the Caesar? No, I didn't, not yet. Sorry, man. I put those things on everything. Yeah! Come. Guys, this is Culinary Crates, episode one. This is also known as the first course, maybe even the last. We're going to present three dishes to you today. Shout out to get Barm Share for dropping us this 20 ounce Wagyu strip. Conrad and I together were able to butter baste it. You did the green onion, which is a great touch. Everyone's always doing thyme and rosemary. Today we use, we use what you have, right? So then the Chantelles in the same pan, back on top. Lobster mac and cheese, Atlantic lobster. Again, shout out to Farm Share, sorting us out, Farm Share. What we're gonna do is spin this around. But I was at Farmhouse and Bear yesterday. Uh, for fishing. Shout out to Farm Big Share. shout out to Farm Share. Share. Give it the nod. Okay, lobster mac and cheese Atlantic. Then we have vegan Caesar. I'm ready to devour that. Yeah, so guys, just so you have an idea of what it looks like at home is that, obviously your hands have to be clean, but you know, you pick up the entire boat, you have a piece of tomato, it's fully dressed, and you know, should hold on to the I like that. Yes. Yeah, vegan. Mm. Oh my god. The capers. The spicy! The spice! Mm. Thank you for tuning in. This is a wrap. We're gonna keep cooking, keep playing. We're rolling. Wrap! Spice on that one. Wow! So spicy. What the hell kind of chili flakes are those? Sunshine! From fucking Trinidad? No, from pepper sauce. Oh, the pepper sauce!